Will the Supreme Court even take up this appeal case by the Trump legal team? I think it's very unlikely, Jonathan. I think that uh, the, the decision that the Court of Appeals made, which affirmed the trial court in this case, really got it right and had a very lengthy and well-reasoned opinion. And essentially what they said is, it is the incumbent president, President Joe Biden, who gets to decide whether there is privilege that should be asserted, because executive privilege is a qualified one. And while a former president can give his input and his advice, ultimately the decision belongs to the current president. I think that's a very sound decision. It's based on Supreme Court precedent. And so it seems to me very unlikely that they'll take it up. But as, uh, as Congress has requested, if the court does decide to take it up, at least do it quickly. Joyce, do you see anything more than a political benefit to Trump's lawyers arguing that the committee doesn't have the authority to seek a criminal referral? Like so many other times, Jonathan, we're seeing uh, Trump's lawyers yet again arguing to an audience of one, and I'm sure he's very pleased with their pleadings. But like Barb, I don't think the Supreme Court will see much to this. You know, it has to be the case that Congress has the ability to investigate January 6th. If not, democracy might just as well pack it up and call it a day if Congress can't legitimately look into an insurrection and determine how to prevent the, uh, a repeat of what we all saw take place uh, at the earliest part of this year. So two lower courts have determined that there was legitimate purpose here. There's no reason Congress can't make a referral. If evidence comes into its possession, it believes DOJ should see. There's no reason that that in any way vitiates Congress's legitimate purpose here. So, Barbara, by honing in on the criminal referral in the court of public opinion, is the Trump team making the case so partisan that the committee will drop it, or at least they hope? Well, I think they are you know, trying this case not only in the courts, but also, as you say, in the courts of public opinion. So it gives talking points to uh, their advocates and their supporters to say, see, this is all just uh, a political crusade to take us down. This is not about legislation. This is about gotcha of Donald Trump so that he can be referred for a criminal case. And I don't think that's going to resonate whatsoever with the court. Uh, courts have repeatedly held that Congress may investigate anything over which they may legislate. And as the Court of Appeals judge who wrote the opinion in the case below, she said, it's, it's hard to imagine anything more in Congress's wheelhouse than an attack on its own house. And yeah. so uh, it, it seems very clear that this is certainly within uh, the scope of its investigation. I will agree with one thing that was said in Trump's legal pleadings, and that is we all ought to read the Washington Post. <laughs> you know what? I agree with you on that. But Joyce, in all seriousness, what about the DOJ? What about the Department of Justice? Are they completely immune to the politics on something like this as they're meant to be? You know, DOJ's stock in trade is their immunity to the politics. Sure, people try to influence the Justice Department. And typically, once you're inside of that building on Pennsylvania Avenue, you're pretty much tone deaf to what's going on on the outside. Congress can certainly make a, a referral. If DOJ thinks it's merited, they'll pursue it. If they don't, they'll simply ignore it. Because as a prosecutor, that's your job. Your job is to follow the law and to follow the evidence. And the politics simply doesn't enter into it. That was one of the biggest flaws in Trump's administration was their willingness to subvert DOJ's purposes for political gain. That's why Merrick Garland, to you know, so many people are disappointed in him, but that's why he has made such a rigid practice of not caving into what's political. So mm -hmm. look, there's absolutely nothing wrong with Congress referring a case over to DOJ. DOJ makes referrals to Congress every year saying, Congress, we wish you would pass some new laws for us. It's a practice that DOJ DOJ has engaged in for many years. It's not DOJ's job to make law, but they certainly give advice to Congress when they see something they'd like Congress to do. Here, Congress is returning the favor. There's nothing improper and, and no reason that the Supreme Court should hear this case or do anything other than send these papers on a speedy path from the National Archives over to the Congressional Committee.